Psychedelic mushrooms for dogs? Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Psychedelic microdosing is a huge thing now with the human population. With us, an array of different researchers have reported a number of specific huge benefits. These are for people taking small amounts of psychedelic drugs and it's helping with things such as anxiety, depression, some of those severe mental health disorders that people have that are just not responding at all to conventional treatment. Turns out veterinary researchers are also interested in the same thing. Research of UC Davis has done a study showing that psychedelic microdosing in rats has shown beneficial effects. No, this isn't a study in dogs and cats, but it's sort of the first sort of legitimate study done in animals, which is showing a clear benefit, really potentially applicable for our animals. The researchers, they used a substance called DMT, and that's one that's found in ayahuasca, it's found in psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms. They modeled the micro dosing pattern based on what people are using. So they're giving one tenth of a hallucinogenic dose every three days, it's called micro dosing. And they dose that regimen over a two month period. One of the first interesting findings, they found that psychedelic micro dosing in the rats help them overcome a fear response that traditionally is a model used to demonstrate fear that's seen in people with, say, post-traumatic stress disorder. They also documented reduced immobility, which is one of the measures they test for people that have depression. But were there risks? Well, they found a couple of different changes. One, turns out the male rats, they gain more weight. So, just, who knows, they're feeling less stress, they eat more, they're less active. And they found for some reason in the female rats, they said they found neuronal atrophy. In other words, you know, some of these, the functional brain cells were actually shrinking. What did they conclude? They said that their study did show that psychedelic microdosing can produce beneficial behavioral effects, which is kind of what you want, without drastically altering perception. Does this mean I suggest you rush out and start microdosing your dog for his crazy anxiety disorder? No, but it does point towards the potential benefits of the psychedelics and maybe having us think twice. Like, is it, is it really good you've got a dog with serious separation anxiety? You're giving him a daily antidepressant? Hmm. Potential a whole host of real side effects. Maybe there is another alternative option maybe what some of these psychedelics is it and if i had a dog that had serious separation anxiety at the very least i'd be wanting to encourage my veterinary college to do some research on it maybe consider that as a possible option there are a number of different studies that have come out for people you know one recent study i read reported that 80 percent of people that use psychedelic microdosing they reported a marked improvement in mental health 80 percent can you imagine de dealing with severe anxiety, the anxiety depressive disorders, having depression? And I mean, that's the form of treatment, something that's fairly benign, relatively safe, and that's what you need, as opposed to like these serious drugs that have serious side effects that aren't even working. At the very least, it's definitely worth more research. I'm hoping that it happens, and when it does happen, I'm pretty confident it will, I'll let you guys know. Should I be microdosing the poodle? Mm, mushrooms. Just refrain from the magic mushrooms. Till some more stuff comes out. Thanks for watching. It's Dr. Jones.